Hey YouTube, Akuma Leader here, bringing you The Walking Dead, episode 4, part 3, and I'm guessing this is probably the last part of the episode. So if you remember what happened last week, we, we were in here and we found out that there was a woman pregnant, she stabbed or shivs some fella, the doctor fella that Molly dropped from the roof here. She dropped him off the roof and he was, uh, he was the guy that was crawling on the floor. That's why there's dry blood here. I'm guessing he made it here and then probably turned into a zombie or opened the door and then turned into a zombie. Uh, we found a few um, tapes as well that led us to opening this place. And yeah, we got all the materials as well to be able to fix that boat. I'm just waiting for everything to go wrong in the end because we, we both know, or we all know, it's gonna go wrong in the end. Always does in this game. Um, so without further ado, let's get back into it. But before we do, subscribe to the channel like the videos just like the videos if you want because it doesn't matter i'm gonna upload anyways uh so let's get back into it so what we're supposed to do now is before we go back to everybody put in the last tape and then see what the crack is i have a feeling that this last tape is going to show us something to do with clementine maybe uh, we don't know though let's just check kind of nervous though What the hell? Wait, Molly Listen, and the as kid. As long as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? I thought Molly was a child. So she had a sister as well. Well, shit. So she had a sister as well. That's mad. Not working. That's mad. I knew, like, well, we, both, we all knew, but we all knew it was something deeper than that. It wasn't just, like, something some random beating down no one gets beat down like that can't really hear those zombies until i get around this corner oh jesus christ oh you scared the shit out of me where the fuck have you been sightseeing i'll take that battery now oh yeah uh about that. Hey yo! What did you do? I'm just kidding. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> she fucking pissed me off there too. Here you go. Hide it in your imaginary pocket. What's that? Nothing. Been quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just 
wanted it, okay? It's okay, Bonnie. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? No I think way. That's our cue to get the hell out of here. Who? I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Oh my god. Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. <laughs> ben is a retard. Oh, shit! Ben! There is something wrong with this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus Christ. Please shoot this fucker! Thanks. It wasn't me! Going, kid. Nice oh, shot. nice shot. Thanks. There is something wrong with Ben. There's something what wrong the fuck with is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault. All my fault. What the hell is he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... <laughs> Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. I gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whoop his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. 
You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Oh my god. Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! friends <laughs> fuck out of my way boy that's what I mean like you look at these people taking on you're taking on about 40 of them. the fuck out of my game We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Why did he say that to I'm guessing that's your one. to save you man what do you mean what do you mean of course i'm gonna save you you're gonna be sacrificed later <laughs> To get away from him. Oh, right, Jesus Christ. Hey. Back already? I'm, I'm so stressed. <laughs> oh, I got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. 
Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Please, save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen. No, you listen. You got some good people here and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not gonna make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is gonna solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm gonna make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I guess you have a point. I just want what's best for her. Whatever that means. I think you already know what it means, Lee. I want you to think about some things. The way you've treated me doesn't exactly instill a lot of confidence in you as a guardian to that child. I don't like being threatened. I don't like being lied to. I don't think Clementine would much like that either. And it's a shorter trip from me to her than you might imagine. Jesus Christ, all I said was that she was my daughter. So I can get out of the freaking place. Sorry. I didn't kill you, did I? I can't believe we lost no one though. Holy shit. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. So that's it? After all we've been through, you, you're just gonna leave? Yeah, I figured you don't owe me anything. I got what I wanted in Crawford, and I never did like the water. Where will you go? I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. What do you want me to tell the others? Tell them whatever you want. I'm not real big on goodbyes. Tell Clementine she's going to be okay. You've got a good one there. She reminds me of me. Huh. I'll live on me though later. Nope. He's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? We'll go wherever Kenny says. He's a good captain, and he knows the water's down south. He'll know where to take us. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten to feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe.
I even feel disappointed. I feel so fucking got it that I just disappointed this girl that's done so much. My fucking god. I'm still looking, still that guy though. That guy is still out there. Still didn't find out who the fuck he was. The radio's gone. Oh my god. time. Clementine? I wonder if it's Clementine's fault. I wonder if it's Clementine's fault that we... that what happens in episode 5 happens. Clementine! Clementine! Aha! That's what it is. It has now happened. Damn! No. 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 How do you not see him, dude? safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell go. is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Oh, what can you do? Lee. You know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man, and I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. There's been plenty. Kitty man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help, please. You might not have been keeping score, Lee. But I have. And you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Because you're on your own on this one. I'm sorry, what? What about you, man? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Kenny is a rat. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. 
She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I swear, before this is all over, I'm gonna show you I can do something right. I'll prove it to you. You'll see. Okay, guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. You're still gonna take me? Even bit? Yeah. We'll figure out what to do about that when the time comes. Come on, guys. Let's go. That's Matt Kenny's a rat. I've done nothing but stand by his side throughout the whole. There's been never one time that I've said, nah, no fuck you, Kenny. Nah, nah, nah. I've always been there. Kenny's a rat. I don't like him. And it's happened. We got fucking bit. I can't believe we got fucking bit. Even though I can't. Gone. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. <sighs> I can't believe I got bit. That's such a cheap shot. Like, how do you not see a zombie there? Last one. I am so fucking pumped for it all. And let's see. The boy in the attic. Boy, you killed the boy in the attic. 74% of the players killed him. Yeah. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? The other 26, use all use our pricks. Use our ATR pricks. Hypocrite. Oof. Did you lie to Vernon? Jeez Christ, people. Wait. 33% of the players threatened or lied to him. The fuck? Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? Six two players pulled him up. Oh wait. Yeah, seven three. I see that loads of people. From who the bot bell tools? You and sixty six players pulled him up. Okay. The bite reveal. Eighty percent showed. Damn. That's crazy, man. That was crazy. Now I have to go all episode five knowing that I'm literally going to die. That whole episode 5 and then the end because that's one thing I remember about this whole game. It's the end. Well, that was a fucking class episode anyways. Got to, we've seen so much more. God knows, I think Molly may come back. Maybe she might help us later on down the line. See, like, it definitely can't just be the last we heard of her. And, may, and the old people as well. Maybe. Maybe not. God knows what's going to happen. Um, I'm just so like... <sighs> Not prepared that he got bit. I actually didn't even think he was going to get bit now. I thought it was going to be in the end. That he was going to get bit or go close to the end um, of the 
last part. But, you know, this game knows how to break your heart and put it back together and then break it again. But what can you do? Anyways, guys, next week will be episode five. And then that will be the last part for season one. And I think what I'm going to do is then just like, just play f some games that I find on steam and like random places just play some random pc games you know get used to pc more and then maybe in a month's time come back to season two play season two for a while you know same kind of regime three episodes then one random game three episodes run one random game then do it again then finish that and then you know kind of do it like that because i really want to finish this whole thing before i start something new but yeah, that's that's that seems like the plan anyways. Um great episode. Great having you here. Subscribe to the channel. Love yous and leave yous.